stores with all of the books and I thought I would share a few new booktubers that I found somewhat recently. I feel like I haven't done one of these type videos in forever and I really love doing them because when I first got on booktube I just didn't know where to find all the booktubers I wanted to watch and I really appreciated these sorts of videos that pointed me in the right direction, hooked me up with some fun new channels, and I just really love the supportive nature of the community. So I like to share the people I've found so that you can find them too. Um, I think the reason I haven't shared many lately is because when school started back in um, late July, yes, teachers go back to work the last week of July here, and kids come back August 1st, so I'm on the fast track to fall break already. <laughs> I'm excited. But um, yeah, I just, when school started back, I kind of got a little behind in my booktube watching and my watch later list just went out of control. And I've had trouble reining it in, so that kind of, I wasn't on the prowl for new booktubers, but I'm getting back in the groove of things, and I have found several that I really like recently, so I thought I would share. The first one is Jacqueline at Six Minutes for Me. Um, she's one of my new booktube BFFs, I have to say. She's um, a lawyer from Australia who is transplanted to Texas and has a little time on her hands while she's working on her lawyer credentials. Um, so she is just really enthusiastic about the booktube community and the book community at large. I can't even keep up with her and you know the places she's gone and the people she's met and the books she's read. But yes, very insightful and just a lot of fun to hang out with. And the next one is Amy Poole. <sighs> Amy's another teacher. Another teacher. So, yeah. And stick around. There's a couple more teachers on this list. If you're into teachers, if you are a teacher, you can meet more of us. I'm a teacher. Amy's a teacher. And I love her book choices. Um, are very similar to my own, just quite a variety. And being a teacher, she reads some YA and middle grades now and then, a lot of literary fiction, and she's got that gentle presence, but very thoughtful and insightful, kind of a teacher, kind of a teacher thing going on there. Love her channel. One I recently discovered, really recently, is a new one, always doing. Um, I think she's still in double digits, so definitely go check her out. She is um, a medical translator in Japan. How cool is that? Um, I wonder if, you know, she and Sean could organize a Japanese booktube meetup one of these days. That would be super cool. I I would love to see some vlogs from her. I really like Sean's, you know, of the book maniac fame. So yeah, she is a really neat one and into nonfiction among other things. Um, and then another new one, not quite as new as always doing, but Tired Mama Tries to Read. I, I think Sean said that she was Welsh. I'm not sure, I think. Um, but I just love her. I love her reviews. Her book selection, again, is the literary fiction style that I like. Um, her reviews are very insightful, and her just attitude on life is very, you know, she's just a kind of a common sense kind of person that I like. And her husband has made her this delightful um, new little space. She's calling it a shed. Um, I think it's just adorable. And she promises that one day soon when she gets it ready, she'll give us a tour. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and then there is Peg. A lot of you um, probably know Peg. I will link all these channels below. So 
if I'm not pronouncing them properly or you don't get them fast enough, um, I will have all their links. So check down in the comments. But yes, Peg of um, book, book list fame. She likes to read the book prizes. Um, and previously she was sitting on her porch knitting and I think she's still doing all of those things no matter what her booktube title says but Peg is just a delight absolutely delightful personality and right now she's really into the book contests again and I like her overviews and her roundups and you know keeping me informed on that um, then paperback Laura I I don't think I've mentioned her before. I feel like I should have by now. I love her. I do. She is so delightful. Charming. Charming is the word for her. She's just got this little edge of dry humor, but in the sweetest way. And she has just moved recently. I think she's going back to university for an advanced degree. But she was living in, I don't know if it was Germany or a German-speaking country, and she's back. I don't know what I'm talking about. Is she back in the UK? I don't know, but she's just charming. If you like charming, check her out and witty. Just a little dry wit. I like it. Um, the novel Nomad, she's another one that I've met her through... A book buddy reading with some other booktubers and she's really into um, classics and so well spoken oh her voice is just so cultured if you if you like accents I mean that's not the only reason but I mean, she's very well read and extremely well spoken. Her comments in our book buddy read were just so spot on. So you will love her. Love her. But I love listening to her as well. Um, and then KT, another one I can't believe I haven't mentioned before. I don't think I have. Love Kate. Love Kay. Um, she has been reading mostly um, the Blackout this year. Um, Black history novels and she's doing a lot of individual reviews that are excellent um, I like Kay when she um, is on her casual side and just speaking from her heart uh, when she sits on her couch and does a Friday read or just some things she's been thinking about she's just so insightful about everyday life and perspective on life that's what I mean to say she's just very well grounded love her and every once in a while she'll go out on the street and do a vlog like when she goes for a library book sale and her just confidence out in public and chatting with people is excellent excellent love Kay uh, Amy Anders is another one I don't remember where she's from either. Um, maybe Scandinavian. Of, I, I don't know. Tell me, Amy, where you're from. But she's done some vlogs, like riding her bicycle out in the countryside. And they are just, oh, so much beautiful. So much beautiful. She's really, really into nature writing the way I am. So a lot of books focused on nature writing, both in fiction and nonfiction. I've gotten some great recommendations from her. And like I said, when she goes out in the wide world and does a vlog, it's just so beautiful to see um, nature from her eyes and where she lives. Uh, Harriet Rosie, most of you probably know her. She is just so enthusiastic about the booktube community. She's starting up um, kind of an online bookish magazine right now. I really like the, her consistency. She does a lot of vlogs um, where she talks about what she's reading, but 
more just like how life's going and her focus or lack of or whatever. She's just really, really kind of connects with me in that way and just everyday thoughts. Um, and she's been like me trying to control her buying from month to month, but on a kind of a low key scale. So really like those monthly staying on track type videos as well. And one more, another teacher, Katie's book nook. Katie is another buddy read partner and I read with her and Brie Hill, um, our Anya Seaton's periodically. And she's reminded me of my love of romance novels, as has Brie. I mean, she loves Julia Quinn. I love Julia Quinn. Um, but she's a theater teacher as well as an English teacher. So more just love of kids and enthusiasm for books. So there you go. I do hope you will check these out. They are all great booktubers and just lovely people to spend time with. So yeah, that's what I've got today. Thanks so much for watching and I will be back soon.